I can do a movie a year. I've got about 10 years where I still look good. So that's all I've got in me and then I'll take some time off. It looks like Hollywood is not ready and not willing to welcome Kim Kardashian in the acting world. Kim Kardashian, who has spent the majority of her TV career as a reality personality, is trying to get into the scripted television, but the way she's doing it has upset a lot of people because apparently she's trying to use her wealth to overshadow even the most talented actresses in Hollywood and get their roles. This is a conversation about talent, privilege, and the cost of fame that you don't want to miss out. So grab a popcorn and sit tight. Now, Kim Kardashian isn't actually new to acting. Like any other person who has been in a public eye for decades, she's made different cameos in different movies and shows just for the sake of it. She made appearances in movies like Temptation, Deep in the Volley, Drop Dead Diva, and many others. Now, when she was still doing this, the acting world was peaceful and no one had any kind of issue with her until recently when she wanted to have a full acting career, which was still okay as long as she hustled her way through the top, but that's not what she did. Instead, she decided to use her net worth to want to step on a lot of talented actors and actresses. The system being as broken as it is, it also allowed her to navigate that way because apparently the casting directors and the heavy hitters of the industry would rather receive a bribe and promote mediocrity than promote real deserving talent and this is upsetting a lot of real actors and actresses because Kim Kardashian has become a disaster for them. Anyways, briefly, Kim Kardashian launched her career with being cast as Siobhan in the season 12 of Ryan Murphy's American Horror Story, and shortly after that, she has more roles and upcoming projects than most of the real hustling actors. Kim Kardashian has been announced as the leading actress in Ryan Murphy's upcoming legal drama All's Fair, where she will be playing a Los Angeles-based divorce attorney who leads an all-female law firm. Now get this, where this all gets wrong is the fact that the Halle Berry and Glenn Close will be Kim Kardashian's supporting actresses. Talk about a shocking twist. Of course, the shock has got a lot of people, especially on social media, where one said that Glenn Close being a supporting actor to Kim Kardashian is insane. We have lost the plot. Another one said that why is Kim Kardashian getting such high profile, converted roles instead of real actors who have dedicated their lives to the craft? So messed up. Kim Kardashian is struggling with the most when it comes to acting. However, that's not even half of the whole story because apparently she also has a lot of other roles lined up for her, including a Netflix comedy called The Fifth Whale, which she recently claimed to have pitched to Netflix and they took it. Kim Kardashian said that it is like full comedy called The Fifth Whale and it is like four girls go on a trip, so it's like hangover bridemaids first wives clubbish. We literally spent a day we went to all the studios and everyone called within like 20 minutes with offers and it was like really cool now all this comes right after her biggest acting controversy went down which was actually the telltale sign that she must be doing some shady business behind her acting this was when she featured on Variety's Actors on Actors, which is a show that only features the biggest names in the acting world for them to talk about their arts and struggles and challenges. And when this happened, a lot of people were not cool with it because she only has one main role she has played so far and she was put in the same place with actors who have been acting for decades now, where many people asked for justice for Chloe Sevigny, who was patterned with Kim Kardashian. Kardashian. Now, here is where it gets interesting. Not every actor is willing to take this BS from the industry because for her to be paired with Chloe Savini, it wasn't in the plans because apparently the actor who was said to be paired with Kim Kardashian bailed on her last minute. 
Variety co-director Chief Ramin said today spilled all the tea where he said that, so I'm going to give you a little bit of information. I'm going to break some news. Chloe Sevigny wasn't supposed to pair with Kim Kardashian. Kim Kardashian had someone else that she was supposed to pair with and that actor that she was supposed to pair with called in sick on a Friday night and Kim was supposed to do this on a Sunday. Well, but even Chloe herself, however much she was brave to do it, she still threw some shade at her where after the show she took it to her Instagram to write that some are rewarded early, some of us are the journeymen, some have a quieter route and some a much louder one and I'm excited to celebrate every kind of actor. Now, her post sparked a lot of reactions with people saying that she was kind of suddenly telling people and calling out the industry saying that Kim was undeserving of that spot. Chloe wouldn't be the first actress to call her out on this because Petey Lupon also talked about it saying that Kim shouldn't have gotten the role on the American Horror Story. Referencing to Noelle Coward's song, she said that Excuse me, Kim. You know, what are you doing with your life? Don't get on the stage, Miss Worthington. Adding fuel to the fire. Sadly enough, it looks like Kim wants to make this a family thing because the variety actors on actors interview happened days after she had just gotten into another explosive controversy where she was also heavily accused and somehow confirmed to have used the same ways to help her daughter North get the role in the Lion King's play. All that combined caused people of all kinds and classes to dislike her, seeing her as a disaster because she had come for mothers whose kids are talented but were replaced by North to real actresses who were replaced by her all because she let the money talk because obviously there's no talent. One person said that why are they letting Kim Kardashian pay her way into whatever she wants? Dead women's clothes, performance of the Lion King, actors on actors, she's not even an interesting person to want to marvel at the spectacle. She's boring. Bring back shining people. Another one said that the Kardashians are like humidity, they get in wherever and whenever. I now understand how her talentless daughter is capable of starring in The Lion King when she, without being an actress, is sitting here. Could it be that they pay to occupy those places or how they do it? Well, so the internet has opinions and they definitely think that Kim paid her way into whatever door has opened for her in acting. Do you think so as well? Let me know what you think in the comment section and I will catch you in my next video. Just make sure you subscribe to never miss.